The power of conversation lies in its ability to transform thoughts into connections, silence into understanding, and strangers into companions. between us make every conversation count i'm your host santosh kumar and in today's episode i'm going to talk about something which we take for granted all the time but at its core that's what makes each one of us humans conversations we're going to explore this question specifically and that is what makes a conversation meaningful you know, we live in a world dominated by quick texts, fleeting likes, and surface level interactions. How do we reconnect with the kind of dialogue that stays with us? Conversations that leave us feeling understood, valued, and even transformed. By the end of this episode, I hope you will walk away with a deeper appreciation for the power of meaningful conversations and some ideas to create more of them in your life. So, Let's first ask the basic question. Why do conversations matter so much? So just think about the last truly meaningful conversation you had. Maybe it was a heart to heart with a friend. Maybe it was a deep late night talk with a loved one. Or even an unexpected exchange with a stranger. Whatever it was, I'm willing to bet it left you feeling connected, seen and maybe even changed. Conversations are the lifeblood of our relationships. They are how we share our thoughts, feelings and experiences. But more than that, they are how we co-create meaning in our lives. The philosopher Martin Buber once said, all real living is meeting. What he meant was that life's richness comes not from things, but from the moments when we truly connect with another person. And that's what meaningful conversations are all about. Connections. So what sets a meaningful conversation apart from all the small talk and the superficial exchanges we have every day? I believe there are three key elements. Presence. Being fully present in a conversation is increasingly rare in a world full of distractions. When you put away your phone, make eye contact and give someone your full attention you are telling them you matter. Empathy. A meaningful conversation isn't just about speaking. It's about listening with an open heart. Empathy means stepping into someone else's shoes and truly understanding their feelings, even if you don't agree with them. And finally, vulnerability. When we allow ourselves to be honest and vulnerable, we invite others to do the same. It's in these moments of authenticity that the deepest connections are formed. Think about it. How often do we skim the surface, afraid to share how we really feel or ask questions that matter? Meaningful conversations break through that barrier. Interestingly, there's a lot of science behind why meaningful conversations make us feel so good. You know, research shows that deep, authentic connections trigger the release of oxytocin, the so-called bonding hormone. This not only makes us feel closer to others, but also reduces stress and improves our overall well-being. In one fascinating study, researchers found that people who had more substantive conversation, once about ideas, emotions and experiences reported higher levels of happiness than those who primarily engaged in small talk. So, when we prioritize meaningful conversations, we are not just nurturing our relationships, we are also boosting our mental and emotional health. Let me share a story that really drove this home for me. A few years ago, I was traveling alone and ended up striking a conversation with an elderly man at a coffee shop. What started as a casual small talk turned into a two-hour discussion about his life, his struggles, his regrets, and his advice for someone my age. What struck me wasn't 
just his openness, but how much the conversation impacted me. I walked away with a fresh perspective on my own life, simply because we were both willing to engage deeply in that moment. And here's the thing, that conversation didn't take any special planning or preparation. It happened because we both made the choice to be present, to be curious and to be open. Let's ask ourselves as to why meaningful conversations can be so hard to come by. One big obstacle is time, or rather the lack of it. We are so busy rushing from one task to the other that we rarely take the time to slow down and connect. Another barrier is fear. Fear of being vulnerable, fear of saying the wrong thing, fear of not being heard or understood. And then there is technology. Don't get me wrong, texting and social media have their place, but they have also trained us to prioritize speed and convenience over depth and authenticity. It's much easier to send a quick, how are you, than to actually sit down and ask someone, how are you really? So, how do we bring more meaningful conversations into our lives? Here are some tips through my personal experiences. First, ask open-ended questions. Instead of how was your day, try what was the best part of your day or what's something that has been on your mind lately. Second, practice active listening. Don't just hear, listen. Reflect back what you are hearing to show the other person you are fully engaged. Be curious. Approach conversations with genuine curiosity. Ask follow-up questions and show that you are interested in the other person's thoughts and feelings. Fourth, embrace silence. Sometimes the best moments in a conversation come after a pause. Don't rush to fill the silence. It gives both of you space to think and feel. And five, be willing to share. If you want others to open up, you need to be willing to do the same. Share your own experiences, your fears and hopes. It creates trust. At the end of the day, meaningful conversations are about more than just words. They are about connection. They are about understanding and growth. When we take the time to truly engage with another person, we remind them and ourselves that we are not alone. And in a world that often feels fragmented, that's one of the greatest gifts we can give. So here's my challenge for you. This week, make time for one meaningful conversation. It could be with a friend, a family member, or even someone you don't know very well. Ask a thoughtful question. Listen without distraction. Be open and present. And if this episode inspired you, share it with someone you would like to connect with more deeply. Let them know you are thinking about them. Thank you for joining me on this episode today. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Between Us for more conversations that matter. And until next time, stay safe, stay happy and keep the dialogue alive. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Between Us podcast. This podcast was recorded at Manic Pot Studios in Chembur, Mumbai. Our sound engineer is Moinak Chakrabutti. The producer is Santosh Kumar and the associate producer is Samyak Kamle. The Between Us podcast uploads episodes weekly and we'll see you next time.